Hi YouTube, this is Eden Roy and welcome to another episode of Android Stop Apps of the Day. So today's episode is actually dedicated to internal storage. This episode is especially going to be really helpful for all those who have um, a low capacity of internal storage. However, this is quite useful for everyone to know how to optimize and maximize their internal storage. So let's begin. The first app that I'm going to review is called One Tap Cleaner. So this is actually a paid version, and uh, you can find the free version on the market. It is just with ads, nothing uh, new to it. But I like it without ads. So it's called One Tap Cleaner Pro. Let's start. Now what it does is actually a cache cleaner. Uh, to begin with, the previous versions of this app were only based on this concept to clean cache. But now it has a few more features, so let we'll discover all these features in a while. Let's begin with the cache cleaning. Now caches are actually um, what some apps store in your internal storage, and they take up a lot of space at times. So it's always a good idea to keep on cleaning your cache timely now as you can see sorry now as you can see <coughs> my internet has 2.36 mb cache my market has 672 and so on and so forth it is listed in that way the maximum at the top you simply have to clear all cache and it's asking you there are 3.19 mb cache size used by application do you want to clear them now caches are good to keep if you want um, you know a smooth running of few application but it does not really hinder the performance so it's really 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 safe and advisable to keep on cleaning your cache on timely basis done so it actually cleaned up um, 3.19 MB from my internal storage which is quite cool I've actually cleaned um, about 22 MB once so that was awesome. Oops, sorry. The second thing is history cleaner. I just went in without even saying that. So it just selects all the um, applications that keep history. Also, if you go to the menu, you need to rebuild the list if you have installed any new applications. And then it will rebuild the list. And it's done. Now let's just. Now uh, here it is a rebuild option. Now let's just clear selected histories. Histories doesn't take up that much space. Look, it's only 4 KB, but it's just an option in this uh, application. So why not just see it? Now default cleaner. This is pretty decent. Uh, we have we use different home replacements. I'll be doing home replacements later on. Uh, we use different home replacements and then you know we set uh, one of them as a default and then we usually need a home switcher app or something like that to switch or clear the default now it allows you right here and then I don't have any home application uh, set as default so it's not showing any if you want me to send and show you how it works let's just start these are my home launchers that I have if I select use by default for this action and they just select um, launcher pro so okay so this is like my default now so one tab cleaner will actually list launcher pro as the default home screen so I can actually clean it up from here to make sure it's not default anymore and then I can select anything else then let's view the settings settings have auto clear interval you can actually set the interval when do you want to clear the caches and all that then the sorting and all that so it's pretty neat and you can just browse it you would see what it's all about and then I uh, recommend it to different friends or you know more apps by this developer done now let's begin with the second application which is um, very useful very extremely useful but for this you would need to have um, an external memory card installed this is called link to SD let's start now it's available in the market what link to SD does it is already connected uh, with my external um, 
SD card. What it does, first of all, you need to make uh, an external partition on your XT card. The EXT2 partition video I did earlier, uh, you can check that on my channel. Or, you know, I'm just going to post a link in the description below so you can just check it from there. Uh, what it does, uh, first of all, it mounts uh, your EXT2 partition as the second partition for installation of softwares or applications as we call an Android. So when you do your EXT2 partition, you put in your uh, card in the phone, you restart the phone and you open this app it will actually ask you to mount on ext2 partition and it will give you different options ext3 4 and all that so you just do ext2 and then you press ok and then you restart your phone and then you open this application um, as you can see 3g watchdog is linked to my sd card what it does it actually links uh, some files which are otherwise stored in on your internal storage which is actually pretty cool those are files used by applications um, and you know it saves a lot of space let's see the settings for this there's this auto link option which I always keep on you should also keep it on um, the settings are link application file apk file of the newly installed application to SD link Dalvik cache file, link the library files. Now these are the files which are otherwise installed on your internal memory. Now when link to SD is working, don't think nothing is um, installed on your internal storage. Some things are part of the application is installed in the internal storage, but yet again, a good part is installed on the external EXT partition that you just made. So you just do it automatically so whenever you are going to install an application it will just link directly or other than that you can do it manually like you know you go to 3d watchdog 3g watchdog you can create a link you can remove a link from right here since it's already linked let me just remove it like this and it's removing link press ok and see there is no link now it's actually on my um, internal storage now let's create the link again create the link yep and it's done that is how simple it is now let me show you a bit of um, the storage information as you can see the internal is 65% free SD card is 76% free and my SD card second partition which is my ext 2 partition that I created is 84% free so there are actually stuff installing on my second partition so this is pretty neat uh, it actually helped me to install more than 100 applications at one time and then I did a factory reset but it's actually very useful um, let's get back to the application review. Now, the third application that I have is Move to SD Enabler, and it actually allows you to move files forcefully to your SD card. Do not move neither widget nor root apps, of course. But the only thing that you need for this is uh, your device should be rooted. For that, if you have a Galaxy Mini you can actually go through my video links again and I have actually shown how you can do that the foolproof way which is awesome trust me rooting your device is awesome and uh, so how this thing works this is your internal storage if you just go do internal storage and apply it will actually say to unlock move to FTL do you want to continue anywhere by setting it to internal it actually means all your applications will be installed on your internal storage but I don't want that so cancel it external is the key external is the thing that we want to do so we will apply and it has been granted super user permission now that you have unlocked move to SD you have to manually move all applications uh, the, unfortunately it seems that the software like app to SD failed to enter unlock application to manually move the application and all that so we know how to move the application to SD just in case you don't know I'll just show you in a while do you want to open application settings now let's just do it press yes 
Now it has actually enabled us to move our applications to SD, which otherwise are not allowed to be moved to SD. Say um, Angry Birds. I think it's on on my SD card. Yes, it is. Oops. Let me do some other. Uh, what a so see I have App Store with me which can be moved to SD this thing is enabled otherwise this is not enabled in this application so this is pretty neat you just do it this way and it will move it to SD done see did you notice the space it is now 1.26 otherwise it was I'm moving it back to see it was 2 MB something I didn't notice it actually yeah see it's 2.58 MB so it is pretty neat try it that was all and that was it so make sure that you rate comment or share my video and subscribe to my channel and i'll be posting new videos soon thank you bye